All right, so we're gonna plant some potatoes. Uh, these are easy to grow, uh, top quality vegetables to harvest this season. Hey guys, Eric with East Texas Homestead and um, we are working on uh, some potato beds today. So I'm going to um, go mill up some lumber uh, and plant these potatoes. First thing I need to do is go get the tractor and find a log. Hey goats, what y'all doing? About ready to move your pen? I was driving down to the sawmill and uh, I just passed this guy right here. And I think, I think we'll pull one of those out of here and see if we can mill it up. All right, I got this thing down here and it's, uh, it, it's looking pretty rough. I mean, it's been dead for many, many years, if not uh, decades. So let's, uh, let's give it a go, see what we can get out of it, and we might have to get more. So ideally, I would just drive right up to this uh, mill with the tractor and drop it right there. But <laughs> so you've got this canopy up that has this pole and this pole, and then these trees... And all this stuff that basically keeps me from driving right up to the mill. All this will be cleared out. But for right now, what I had to do was drop it right here and load it up. Now I'm kind of scooting it over. Clearly this, is, clearly this does not work with uh, larger logs. All right, so I don't know what the actual dimensions of this are because um, I wasn't really measuring. I'm just looking for half inch pieces and uh, you can see that's what we've got here. So I'm cutting a whole bunch of half inch, um, half inch by, I don't know, maybe that's five, six inches. And then I'll cut those down into length and we will use those to frame up the side of our potato boxes. So this is not a bad haul for, uh, you know, basically taking a, a dead log out of the woods. You can see I've got seven half inch pieces of, uh, I don't know, maybe half inch by six inch, and then a two by six. Uh, we'll see what we'll do with that, but yeah, not bad at all. So we've got three potato beds built. Turned out pretty good, I think. And um, now we are digging a trench and Buddy's gonna explain why. We accidentally cut it while we were making this. And we're going to run the pipe down down underground. And then we're going to put a little thing to stock it up. And then we're going to, that's what we're going to use to water the potatoes. This is plain dirt that you see. This is called topsoil. And we have put it here over the years. We've built it over the years by throwing leaves and compost. 
and stuff like that on our flower bed or on our, our in our uh, front yard and all of it decomposes and turns into topsoil and it's very shallow right now but we're constantly continuing to build it when you go into the woods you notice that there's a lot of topsoil and that's because that's right here's the irrigation system we are using and it goes All in the garden. I got a lot of butterflies. But drips here. And then there's the spray over here. And it waters it in case. <laughs> so we don't have to, in case we forget. It keeps everything alive. Are you helping too, baby Joe? Yeah, yeah put some dirt over it. Okay, so as we plant these potatoes, uh, one thing that I've heard for a long time, and I've never tried this, is that uh, planting your potatoes, your sea potatoes, with uh, comfort leaves wrapped around them or close to them, it really helps with the, uh, uh, helps fertilize the potatoes. So, uh, Buddy here, he's gone and he's gonna start picking some leaves. We're gonna go ahead and plant these things and get this over with. All right, heading up to the swell. We're gonna go for this guy right here. You can see it's mulberry. It's loaded down with fruit, but uh, a lot of it I'm not gonna be able to get to for a while. But anyway, that's, uh, that's not what we're here for. We're here for this guy. So check out the size of these leaves. Gorgeous. I'll just reach in here. Grab those guys. So I think what we're gonna do is just um, I don't know, maybe, maybe wrap each, each little potato in, uh, in one leaf. I think that's probably a good way to go. There's two, but you know, just kind of plant them down like that. All right, so this is pretty much what we did. We just dug a trough right there, put four on this side, four on that side, two in the middle, kind of tucked around the potatoes, four in that one, 10 in this one. So you can see there's what we've planted. So there we have it. We got our three beds built. They're dripping well. And as the potatoes grow through, we'll basically mound more soil or uh, potting mix uh, up around it. And we'll build more sides and just keep going up. See how high we can get this. Hey, thanks so much for joining our family as we built some potato beds. It was a lot of fun. Uh, long day, hard work, but it's, it's really satisfying to have built something uh, from pretty much all the materials on our property. So, buddy, take it away. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the link up. Yeah, that's right. Give us a thumbs up. All right. Talk to you guys in the next one.